Yo, what is up guys? My name is Kylo and welcome to this update on the map that I've needed to make for forever, but I, for some reason, didn't. Now, the thing is, I have to actually wait for this to be, uh, wait for Dinnerbone, basically, because he's doing the new ID system, and I have to wait for the ID system to be completed so I can actually throw out this map, because there's a bunch of blocks in which I need to fill in that have the ID values and things like that, that he's changing so if i fill them in now yes i could theoretically throw out the map and be done with it but if you update the map or if you update to a new version then the map will render useless so i don't really see a point so i'm working on to make the map it's going to be 1.8 compatible instead of snapshot blah 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 compatible and i've just really i really think it's a lot better just to have it 1.8 plus compatible instead of it being only compatible with a certain snapshot so also with this i've made it to where these generate at random these um every other one it'll be like a checkerboard pattern that generate at random and then what it does is after these activated which are these command blocks these are the ones that activate at random then these right here with the wool these parts will have already activated due to the circuits running underneath the ones with this. So these will activate this one, this one will activate that one, that one will activate that one, that one will activate that one, that one will activate that one, and that one. And what it'll do is it'll basically look at these and look at the redstone pieces right here and here and see if it's able to connect to it. It'll use the logic and everything through it. So only about 50% of the dungeon will, or 50, or the dungeon will generate 100% random, but it generates like 50% at random and then it uses the logic gates to connect everything up. But also, I'm going to be using something in there to generate the dungeon, uh, the center. Right now, I'm going to have it to where, in the center, these four blocks, is where the, whatchamacallit's going to generate, the boss room. The boss room is always going to generate in the center for now. But in a little while, after 1.8 or something like that, we'll probably change that up a little bit. As well as, we'll probably change up the randomization, like the pathing and everything. So I'm going to be making just some simple paths, like going like this, or going like that, or going like that. Maybe even, uh, it would be really strange if you spawned here, and then the outplay was just there. So then you'd have to go there and then back, but, 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 yeah. And then, yeah, I'll show you an actual test of it. So I'm not sure. The new snapshot's been really laggy for some apparent reason, but it seems to have taken them out. And then when it goes to put them back in, I'm not entirely sure how well it'll work because the snapshot's just been with redstone it's just i don't know what's wrong with it but yeah with the redstone see how it's it's just not even moving this clock isn't even going on none of this is actually really working i can't even right click on this that's how bad it is but i'm going to try to make this help be be a lot more useful in the newest snapshot compared to how it's running right now because it's apparently the newest snapshot since they've been rewriting everything it's just been getting a lot worse with redstone i guess you could say and everything just needs to be ma remade, I guess you can say, to make it work a little bit better. But yes, I know you all are anticipated, and you're just really excited to get, see this map go out and things like that. And I'm really, really sorry that the map hasn't gone out. It's honestly, life as well as just the whole rewriting and everything has just been getting in the way. And uh, it's just been really, really bad and really difficult to actually finish up the map. Plus, this map just takes so much work and... oh. Look at that. It finally spawned in after probably what a minute and a half. Yeah, these all just went in. This isn't going this isn't generating properly, but down here, this right here, this is the little logic in which I will throw into here. Actually, it's not really logic. It's the I've marked up some of the sponges with, or some of this with sponge. If you fly over here really quick, I've marked up the area with sponge. Wait, it might not actually be this one might actually be the one over there which there is one over there but i've marked up little areas with sponge and what it does is if there's a sponge on it there's going to be keeping that one and that's going to be the rooms that can actually generate right there which will be on the very edge of the map so it won't actually generate like this it'll generate with something like let's just say with a wall here so it'll generate like that i don't know but that's how it's going to actually generate once it's finished and the logic's all correct with these. But yeah, basically with these, if you really, if you really want to know this, um, these rooms right here just generate from a. It doesn't even, it doesn't include the logic, like these other ones do. Like this, I th or yeah, this one's the full 
the full deal right here. This one has the number generator, it has the logic on it, and it has the output. Whereas this one only has the number generator and then the output. So these right here will generate random. Whereas these, if we can actually get one of these, let me see if I can turn one of these on. Hmm, maybe I can do this real quick to where it'll replace this with sandstone and it'll try to generate a room there. So this will be, let's say that one's filled with air, air. These two have the redstone blocks. So it'll constantly look for something. And since this is one of the main pathways, it'll take about, um, I'd say it won't, it shouldn't take too long. I uh, know because this is a, there's only one type of thing that can connect to this. It will take a lot longer, but there will be a redstone block here. If I actually place one here, because there will always be a redstone block in this space right here, because this is a angle. So since there is three different possible ways it can go, it'll test for those three. And then once it tests for those three, it'll output a signal once it's found one, which it should be coming up any time now. Which see, yeah, as you can see, now it has actually generated a room in which it'll connect to all three. Because there was a redstone block here, it'll actually connect to there, it connects to there properly, and it connects to there. But for now, it, I don't know why, it takes extremely long but i will be speeding up the process once the full map is completed now i'm trying to determine you guys can answer this question whether or not if you want me if you want to get in the mood for this i can develop a cheaty way to do this i guess you could say without the logic i can just have it generate random rooms and then uh just for just for now like not as a it won't be a fully complete in hell since this one's completed right here this one's actually going off but yeah, it's this one this won't be a, like a fully completed project. It'll just be a test way of so you can actually play the map for yourself and not do something that's or not have to wait so long because this is going to take still a long time. So, I was thinking about just as like a little cheaty way for anyone of you that wants to play it, I can make it to where it generates a pathway, ran it generates one of five different pathways through this 10 by 10 area. And then walls like this to where it's like closed off, I could put something like this in the build design right here for this. And then once this generates right here, it could generate closing that up, but it'll always have a predetermined route input. So you might get the same done or you might, you'll always get a different dungeon, 100% random. And it'll be kind of, I guess you could say like um, the regular dungeons that most people are building like Jigger Bob's or his is um, a four-way output, a four-way pathway. And then it'll have a, it'll have sometimes there's walls going on there. And I could release one like that if you want, and we'll just call it the preview. So it's your choice. You can determine whether or not you want this, uh, you want to wait for the full map to be completed or, um, or you can get the map kind of ready now. So it is your choice. But yeah, I'm so sorry that this map hasn't come out. I really am. It's just, it takes forever to make. Um, and just, uh, it's, it was definitely something fun in the beginning, but it's starting to just become something that I'm forced to work on, I guess you could say. But I really, I really just do want to finish it just for you guys, because thank, face it, you, you guys basically came, or most of you probably came to my channel for this and might as well give you something in return instead of just leaving you in the dust but and i'm not saying it like oh yeah you oh i owe you or blah 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 but it's just the thing is that i feel like i need to finish this but it's just been really really difficult and trying to motivate myself to finish this but i do want to give you something at least i would i, I would probably um, build up the map as the single player not really single player i'll build up the map not completed but it'll be like a preview and i will release that you you all can make the decision until then i'll see you later bye bye